On December 5th, 2023, the Junta Control Central Bank of Myanmar announced it will stop setting foreign exchange rates for the chot. This means the US dollar and other currencies can be freely traded according to the market price decided by banks and dealers. Previously, the central bank maintained what is called a managed float, which keeps the exchange rate within a certain range. This helps provide predictability for trade and investment purposes. Dr. Michael Martin, a former Congressional Research Service Specialist in Burmese Affairs, suggests this new policy change signals that the military junta may be financially struggling. And it's generally an indication when a nation abandons a managed float, there's some reason to believe they don't think they can keep it within that range, given the resources they have available. But let's take a look at what the financial situation was before. In June 2023, the World Bank released a report citing tentative signs of a stabilizing economy in Myanmar after the country took a major hit from the pandemic in 2020 and the military coup in 2021. But its more recent report shows evidence of deterioration in the past six months, with the initial signs of recovery proving to be fragile and short-lived. Now, there are many factors behind this. One significant reason could be the increased fighting across Myanmar since October 27. That was when anti-junta forces launched their offensive with the military objective of reclaiming control over trade areas near the China, India, and Thailand borders. That means there's an increasing amount of the international trade that's going on in Myanmar right now that is actually no longer under the control of the military junta. So whatever foreign exchange you were able to get access to from that trade is now going to whom? The EROs or the local population there. Dr. Martin says that for the military junta, there's basically two reasons they need foreign exchange, specifically U.S. dollars. First, they need to buy lots of weapons to continue to resist the ethnic armies and people's defense forces. Second, they're having difficulty managing the flow of foreign currency within a set exchange rate. Temporarily, it's a relief valve, but now they're going to have to use more and more money. The World Bank's report says the economic outlook has darkened due to the recent escalation of conflict and the resumption of macroeconomic volatility. According to a World Bank official, there will be a negative impact on the living standards of the Burmese people as real wages fall, food insecurity increases, productivity decreases, and human capital continues to erode.